Well, thank you for joining us. We'll start by asking you to please introduce yourself and uh, what you are doing here at the uh, World Forum for Democracy. So my name is Ivy. I'm a youth climate activist. I'm an activist with Fridays for Future France, which in France is called Youth for Climate, but it's exactly the same thing. And I was here to talk about um, youth activism and the youth participation in like democracy and all those topics. And when you say activist, what form does your activism take? It can be in the form of strikes, it can be in the form of being invited to events, it can be in the form of civil disobedience with like extension rebellion, it can be in all sorts of forms in which we believe that we can make our message heard. And your methods to change what? What are your primary, uh, what are the targets of your activism? What are the problems that you're trying to address and fix? I mean, so obviously the issue of climate change when you're a young person trying to grow up and figure out what you want to do in life, climate change is something that's really scary, but also social justice and I mean all of those issues are completely related when you think about feminism or social justice, capitalism, all of that to me at least is very, very related and so when you fight for one thing you try to fight for everything because you try also to be supportive of every fight that is out there. And to date, can you point to any successes you've had with your climate activism or what progress has been made or what gives you hope to keep going? It's very hard to kind of have some sort of knowledge of what you actually change. I think that that is also very hard to continue on because you're always asking yourself what, what successes do I have actually. And so I never know really what to answer, but at least I would say the minimum thing is that we have made aware that the youth um, is really, really uh, well informed about those topics and we want to push those topics. And so our successes, I don't know, I still try to like continue on and if one day we ever tackle this crisis the, the right way. And what do you see as the most important um, uh, objectives in, 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 the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the fight for uh, climate justice? Climate justice, I, within it, I would say justice. I would say social justice. I would say to act in a way that doesn't let anyone behind. Um, yeah. <laughs> and what are, you, what are you doing here at the World Forum for Democracy? So I had to talk about youth activism and I think I'm also here to be able to meet other youth activists and to be able to exchange about how is it in their country. There's like a girl from Nigeria, she's really amazing because it's really interesting to have another point of view than like a European one and it's all about the people that you meet and the connection that you make and being able to learn from each other. Very good. Thank you. Um, so the theme of this, of this uh, edition of the forum um, is can democracy save the environment? What's, what's your answer to that question? And also the, the, the parallel question, um, can the environment save democracy? I mean, like you said, I think to me all issues are very, very connected because when you fight for justice, you fight for life, so you fight for, for like being able to live in good conditions and I think that democracy is one of them to be able to be heard um, as a citizen. And I think that the only way to tackle these issues is with democracy, otherwise we're not going to be able to, to really face them. And... Sorry, I got lost. That's, 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 so, as for the other question, because a lot of people are saying, yes, it's true. Oh, that, no, okay. Yeah, can, is, 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 um, is democracy under threat? And does, can the environment play a role in, in, in rescuing it from imminent demise? But also, I feel like sometimes there's like this thing of like young people don't believe in democracy. That's not it at all. Young people don't believe in their governments, which is very different from not believing in democracy. Because, for example, so I'm French and I don't think that the French government um, really uh, is the definition of like a perfect democracy of what the best democracy could be because in, the, in like a really good democracy then the people would feel like they're being listened to and that's not the case. So I think that we can always aspire for, for, for more and for better.